everybody we are in season three but wait this is a special episode of golf cart confessions and let's just jump right into it with whitney hey whitney hey good morning everybody how are you this morning i'm doing so well so well thanks so much for having me on absolutely <laughs> it's seasonably cold isn't it it's perfect i mean december is just coming on right in here with these these temperatures i'm ready for it all righty good deal <laughs> so whitney what would you like to confess to on golf cart confessions today i can't wait to hear this <laughs> i'm just telling you okay so my confession is that i get way too attached to fictional characters like in books and movies fictional characters way too attached you know how like people that are really into sports do you like sports i do okay so have you ever been watching like a football game and you want to give advice to the coach you're like no no no, don't do that run this play <laughs> okay well, that's me but like with this is us or gray's anatomy ah, okay. and they're one fictional characters but two even if they weren't they, they wouldn't want my opinion. They wouldn't want my advice, but I give it to them freely. Do you? <laughs> I do. I, do you kind of like talk to the TV and give it to I them? I talk to the TV or if I'm at home reading. Now, if I was like at Barnes and Noble, I wouldn't be like talking out loud. But if I'm at home, I'm like, oh no, like I am just talking to the characters in the book. Like, what are you doing? Awesome. Awesome. I love <laughs> it. That's pretty cool. Now, you're the director of client and community relations at Crocker Law, right? Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. So what does that entail? So I work with clients kind of one-on-one -on -one when I get the chance to make sure that their experience there at Crocker Law Firm is top-notch, but also um, kind of heading up some community events, and we've got Teen Angel coming up now. I mean, we're almost in December, so we're talking about Christmas things already. We sure are. Now, did you say Teen Angel? Now, I know Crocker Law has been involved with Teen Angel for a long time, right? Yes, long before I got there. Um, it's something that they really look forward to, the entire staff, every year. So it's a really cool program, too. Um, it seeks to pick up where the Angel Tree program leaves off. Okay. So most people are pretty familiar with the Angel Tree program. Right. It helps provide Christmas gifts to kids through the age of 12. Okay. But Teen Angel, we think that it's really important not to forget those 13 through 18 year olds. Right. So it kind of has a um, dual purpose in a way because it makes sure that those teenagers have something underneath their Christmas tree on Christmas Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. But it's also um, usually serves a greater need because it's things like maybe a coat to help get them through the winter. Okay. Or if it's a student athlete, maybe they need a new tennis shoes for basketball season. Mm -hmm. So they're gifts that really are sometimes just most basic needs. And Crocker Law Firm, and we've got this coming up here in two days here yes. at the Starbucks here. Don't you guys kind of like do a double match? It's a match. I'm so sorry, there match. Are, yeah, so it's um, there are multiple agencies that make Teen Angel happen. Okay. One, of course, is we couldn't do it without the school resource offices. They really help with the application process for families, identifying those families that are in need of this. Um, we work hand-in-hand -hand with community education okay. to pull this donation blast off. But, yes, this Friday, starting really early in the morning, like at 5 a.m. Did you say like 5 a.m.? Like 5 a.m. Like <laughs> earlier than right now? Earlier right now. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> so the home base is kind of the Starbucks on Scottsville Road, just down the road from where we are right okay. now. Okay. Um, but starting really early in the morning, we're going to have volunteers inside the Starbucks and standing outside with pails in the drive through okay. collecting your donations. Okay. For that day only through like five, four or five o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Crocker Law Firm will match whatever monetary donations are received and give that to the Teen Angel program so that those school resource officers can actually go out and do the shopping for the teenagers. And everyone always, I think it's fun to shop for gifts. Yes. But really and truly, um, they can do more with your $10 check or cash donation because they work with um, suppliers and stores to really stretch those dollars. Awesome. So $10 would actually go a little further in a cash or a check donation sure. than it would if you went out and purchased uh, $10 worth of socks or something like that and gave it to us. So we're really excited. We hope people will come out. Oh, we know people will come <laughs> out and they answer the call, don't they? Absolutely. We could not do this without the community. This is something every single year it's been successful 
because of all of those donations that come in people are so generous yes. they want to help our kiddos out yes and um, it's just a fun way that they can do it I think absolutely that's really awesome now teen angel I believe has a Facebook page as well they do they do so be sure to look up teen angel Bowling Green and go like their Facebook page please and thank you Absolutely. Uh, um, community education too, if you need, they kind of are in charge of making okay. sure that deadlines, registration, all that is kind of met with, along with those school resource offices. So um, check out their Facebook page as well. Check out Community Education's Facebook page. Go like it, share mm -hmm. it. Hey, be sure to share this event. Yes, um, please, please, yes. please, please share it. Go to the Crocker Law Firm page, go to the Community Education page, go to the Teen Angel page. Please share this event, get it out there. Um, it's <laughs> awesome that Crocker Law has been involved with this uh, every year to match donations. So yeah, come on out, have a Starbucks, make a donation. That'll it's just really a fun awesome. time, just it a is. fun time. I mean, you're gonna buy your coffee anyway, maybe bring a little extra change, throw in one of our buckets. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Whitney, thank you so much for coming out this morning. Yes, again, thank you for having us. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much. So that was a special episode of Golf Car Confessions. And who will we interview next? It could be you.